I survived 100 days in Minecraft in 1.20 Bedrock Edition. In this video, I explore the version's differences and also the new 1.20 features. I plan to survive and beat the game, but also check out Bedrock's most popular servers. Can I last 100 days on Bedrock Edition? Well, you're gonna have to stick around to find out. I spawned in on day one in this mountainous terrain. So as per usual, I gathered some logs from the trees, crafted some wooden tools and located a village in the distance. I stole the locals hay bales and made it into some food. I mined some stone and upgraded my tools and sprinted into a cave for some iron, killed a couple mobs and let's get cracking. Bedrock skeletons are so weird. After a few minutes of cave exploring, I started digging up straight into gravel. Luckily, there wasn't too much. Eventually, I came out to this beautiful lake. I tried taming a wolf and made it back to the village where I would spend the rest of the day waiting for my iron to cook. I started crafting armor and then some tools. Then the sun was going down, so I decided to spend the night in this village. I started day three by killing your mom and destroying the villagers' farms. I crafted a boat, which needed a shovel, and found a mushroom biome already, looted a ruined portal, and hit land. Decided to enter a giant cave to see if there was anything inside. Luckily, there was a mine shaft, so I looted some chests. Until I spotted some sneaky diamonds behind some lava. I found two more diamonds in another minecart and two on the ground. Killed this creeper, just like you should do with that subscribe button. It was night up top, so I slept in the cave like any other homeless man would. The next morning, I got out and trickshotted the sheep. Then I made it home after a successful mission. No, not a mission. It, 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 it. I crafted a diamond pickaxe and saved the other three for something else. And of course, I went to bed. So what's actually different between Java and Bedrock Edition? Well, to start off, there's placing blocks in front of you, which can lead to some crazy bridging like this, or even this. I then started traveling by boat in a different direction. Then I spotted a spruce village through the trees. I looted the villagers' possessions. Then I fell asleep on a beach. That is a large mountain. I also have a different style of skin on. I decided to tower up and turn my render distance onto 76 chunks to see if I could find anything. But I didn't. Big cave, sleep. I tried to loot a shipwreck, but got attacked by a drown with a trident. Yeah, with a trident. I located a pillager outpost. Why can't I find anything? Then I spotted a jungle. I grabbed some bamboo and then crafted a bamboo block from the 1.20 update, which is pretty new. I chopped some more bamboo, then found an acacia village. There was a ruined portal close to the village. So I think I'm gonna build my house here because you have the jungle on this side and then we are pretty close to a village as well. Then I went to bed, but I realized I left three diamonds at the old village. I wanted to start my house, so I grabbed some materials and started building. And after a few days, I finished the exterior of my house, and it looks horrible. I started the next day off by crafting some tools because my others were on the edge of breaking. I added some slabs for the floor, and I was a few blocks short. I got some leaves and placed them around my house to make it look more fancy and to cover up how bad the back of the house is. I found a giant cave, which I explore in a few minutes. I created a pen for some animals. Also, only 0.9% of you are actually subscribed, so if you're in that 99.1% that aren't subscribed, but enjoy my videos, consider subscribing. I lured some pigs into the pen and made another pen, then lured a singular cow, cow, cow in. The house doesn't look too bad, actually. I decided to enter the cave I found. I killed some mobs, grabbed some iron. This creeper tried guarding a diamond, but did a horrible job. I wandered down a small cave and found a deep dark, then found two more diamonds. I came up and realized I was lost. Never mind. Then I went to sleep. The next day, I decided to get some diamonds, so I went in the caves. I just accidentally looked at an enderman, grabbed some diamonds, and some more, and another. Went into a mineshaft, looted a mob spawner, then after a few days of mining, I came up to the ground. Made a diamond sword and a diamond helmet. Did that llama just spit at me? I tamed a horse, and then went to sleep. And for day 20, I loaded onto one of Bedrock's most popular servers, The Hive. I decided to play some Skywars. I have in fact actually played this because I'm max level. You know what? I'm feeling confident. We don't need armor. Oh my! That was so close. I killed this guy like a mob farm, and I won the game with seven kills. Time to go into another Skywars game, but I have teammates now.
Okay, I feel like switching to controller for the rest of this game. Let's go, another win. Now it's time to play some build battle. So what's the topic gonna be? An alien? Well, you know, I'm a professional builder, so <laughs> let's get into it. Right, this looks interesting. Okay, I think this one's gonna win because this is just good. And it's results time. What? Not even top three. Okay, well, I think it's time to go back to my 1.20 world. Um, so yeah, I might come back to high very soon, so stay tuned. I started exploring more of the Minecraft world around, trying to find some 1.20 features. So I headed into the Badlands biome. I turned up my render distance, but I couldn't really find much. It started to head night, but I located a desert temple and looted the chests inside. As the sun was rising, I started heading back to my house. Finally, I'm back after miles of rowing and walking. I entered the day by helping my horse put some clothes on. Then it went night, so I, I got some sleep. I decided to create the nether portal and headed in, but I couldn't be bothered to go in, so I went to sleep and, and then I went back in again. I started mining around trying to find some loot or some structures, but I couldn't find anything, so I traded some of my gold with some pig ones. But again, I didn't, I didn't really get anything. I crafted some hanging signs and named my house, and I also labeled my animal place. And then after a few days, I went to sleep. I decided to go out exploring trying to look for a large cave, however minutes turned into days. But unfortunately, when I came out of a cave, I realized I came up to a place I have never seen before. I towered up and turned my render distance up to the max. I made out a dark oak forest which I had seen on the way here. So I started heading that way, turns out I went completely the wrong way, making me thousands of blocks away. I ended up turning my quads on so I can kinda work out where my house would be. But after nearly getting eaten by phantoms, I spotted my house over the hill. That took so much longer than it should have. I had four diamonds, so I was going to use two for an enchantment table. However, I needed some obsidian to craft it, so I got some from a lava pool. Once I came up, I killed some cows for some leather for books, and then went searching for some sugar canes for paper. I planted the sugar cane and grabbed some bamboo for blocks to build a villager trading house where I can get some cool trades like enchantment books. So I started the building and collected some resources. Then I smelted sand into glass, and then I went to sleep. Once I placed all the windows, I decided to log onto the hive, where I queued into a game with my friend Moomoo. After getting a couple of kills, Moomoo unfortunately got killed by a team. I got snowed off. But I soon avenged him when I killed the team that killed him. and won the game with a total of 8 kills. Next, we queued into a game of Treasure Wars, which is Hive's version of Bed Wars. So, we decided to go on a rampage and executed every team in sight. However, someone decided to push our treasure and I unfortunately died. They got our treasure, but luckily I killed the guy with my bare hands. Alright. We then bought diamond armor, then eventually killed the final player, making us win the game. I collected some sugarcane and crafted paper then crafted books, and then an enchantment table. For now, I enchanted my armor in level 1 enchants, so we get a tiny little bit more, like, protection. I also put a level 1 enchant on my sword, which turned out to be pr a pretty decent enchantment. I dug a pit for where the villagers would be, but I didn't have any villagers. So, I kidnapped one. Just gonna go to sleep. Oh nice, the villager wasn't eaten by any mobs. No, 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 you're never gonna see your loved ones again, come back. Let me just... There we go, I just built an easier way of getting villagers up to my house. Yes, we did it. Once I got him in the hole, I broke the boat and watched him hold back his tears. Also, I can craft chiseled bookshelves, which is a new block in the 1.20 update. You can store enchantment books in them too, for more storage. It was going night, so I decided to go to sleep. I killed some mobs, then started expanding the villager pit. I stole another villager and went up the villager water slide. And there we go. I took some beds from the village, and then I went to sleep. I placed the beds and then made two villagers breed. While they were breeding, I captured some cows and the villagers had three kids. I then started to turn one of the villagers into a librarian with a lectern. I went to sleep and woke up to a looting free book trade for 23 emeralds. I then turned the other adult villager into an armorer, and then I placed two fletching tables ready for when the baby villagers turn into the adults. 
I farmed some bamboo and then went to sleep because it was going night. The baby villagers grew up and became Fletchers, so we decided to grab some sticks and traded for emeralds. And eventually, I had gotten enough emeralds to purchase the Looting Free enchantment book. I crafted an anvil and put looting on my diamond sword. Then I went to sleep, killed some fish to tame a cat, then sat the cat outside my front door to scare some creepers away. I placed some items in item frames above my bed, then finished the day with a good night rest. I decided to go to the nether to find a fortress, however, after after days of exploring, I came across a bastion. I only looted one chest before leaving because it looked very scary inside. So I made my way back to the portal so I can head back to the overworld. Then after an unsuccessful trip, I went to sleep. I looted a mob spawner, then went mining for some diamonds, a mineshaft and another mob spawner. And there we go, we are up. And let's take a quick nap. The next two days, I basically just tried leveling up my armor by trading sticks to the Fletchers for emeralds. And go to sleep. So yeah, I basically just did this because I didn't really know what to do because I, I was kind of bored. I crafted some diamond leggings and then enchanted it. I decided to find another fortress to get some blaze rods to go to the end. So I traveled a different direction in the nether until I eventually found a fortress. So I started killing blazes for blaze rods. And after getting 12 rods pretty quickly because of my looting sword, I started to head back. And eventually Eventually, I found my way back to the portal. I started grabbing and smelting gold so I can trade for some ender pearls. I grabbed some wood and crafted some sticks, traded with the Fletchers, then went to sleep as it was going night. I headed into the nether and found a family of piglins I could use for some not so humane trading. I chucked my gold into the pit and they all started giving me loot for it. And eventually one piglin gave me some pearls and then another gave me four. After all my gold was taken, I started heading back. Okay, I headed into a cave and started mining for some coal. I came out of the cave and then went to bed. I made two pigs breed and then... You've got to be joking. Repaired the hole. I mined some quartz to get to level 30, but I forgot I didn't even have a maxed out table. But I enchanted the ball and then went to sleep. I decided to head caving to start collecting some ores. Get some iron and let's go diamonds. After a few days of mining, I came out 14 diamonds richer. I made it back and crafted a chestplate and boots, then enchanted them both. I also crafted a diamond axe and enchanted it. Same with my pickaxe. I also renamed the name tag and put it on my cat. And also named my sword the Sword of Palm Trees. Then I went to sleep. I started the next day off by farming sugar canes, then some wheat so I can breed the cows. Instead of sleeping, I decided to go into the Badlands to see if I could get any ender pearls from the Enderman. Oh, what? No pearls? Again? Finally! I came back and bred some more cows. I stole some watermelons and some beetroot, then decided to go to sleep when it was going night. I bred the cows again and found a zombie also wanting to breed with them. A uh, bit, bit weird. I entered the nether to try and get the last of the pearls I needed, so I mined some golden nuggets. I changed them into ingots and gave it to the family of piglins. But unfortunately, I didn't get any pearls, so I made a little shelter where I can kill endermen without them actually hitting me. After getting quite a lot of ender pearls, I started to head back. I put the pearls in the chest, making me have a total of 28 ender pearls, most of it from like the looting free sword that I have. I started gathering sugar canes to make into paper so I can make books and then into bookshelves. I also killed cows and donkeys for the leather. Knockback in Bedrock is so weird. There we go, we can make books. I decided not to go to sleep because people always complain about me, like, always going to sleep, so I decided to stay up. So I chopped some wood in the dark, but when it was morning, I made some more books. I placed the enchantment table with the bookshelves I had already crafted. I still need a few more. I bred some more cows, then killed them all, then fell asleep. I can still hear the cow moves in my head. For the next day, I logged back onto the hive to play the game Block Party, where you have to stand on the right color that comes up, otherwise you die. I was doing quite well until I tried leaping to brown but I, I missed but a game mode i can leap quite well in is death run and i just died at the start i used to play death run a bit before so hopefully we can get a good result this map actually looks quite good can i catch up to the person in first wait they have a leap and we just got first place i started to finish maxing out my enchantment table by making more bookshelves I did this for a while until there was a wasp in my room, so I had to go AFK. But once I had placed the last bookshelf, I wanted to go to the nether to collect XP from quartz. <laughs> 
Once I had spent a while gathering quartz and had gotten 36 levels, I headed back and de-enchanted my armor and re-enchanted it with better enchants. Then after a few days of doing some XP grinding, I went to sleep as it was going night. I tried enchanting some books for more enchants on my gear. After not getting anything good, I grabbed the ender pearls and the blaze powder and crafted them into eyes of ender, which helped find the stronghold and open the end portal. And let's go. When I threw the third eye, it went back, meaning I had already passed a stronghold. I threw a more, and it directly went under me, therefore I started mining down to see if I can find it. And eventually, I found it. I started exploring and found some loot in some chests, and then found a library, and then another library just in the next room. Then, after a while of exploring, I located the portal room and instantly broke the silverfish spawner. I just got back home, so let's try not to die. So I put the eyes in the frames and decided to go in. As per usual, I started shooting shooting the crystals and also had to smack some of them because I like I couldn't reach them with my bow. Why are there so many endermen after me? After getting the crystals, I started killing the dragon with my sword. You may be asking why I didn't use my axe, well in bedrock swords are the most powerful weapon. Then I shot the dragon and it kinda glitched but it's bedrock condition, what do you expect? I then collected the XP and then the egg, then headed back after a few days of fighting. I de-enchanted my armor and re-enchanted it to get better enchants with the new levels I got from the ender dragon. So, I I have a few days left of these 100 days, so I'm gonna attempt to find as many 1.20 features as possible. So I went to bed and woke up traveling. Uh, nothing happened, don't worry. I did not die whatsoever. By the way, this world is not hardcore because better Edition does not have it. That's why I'm kind of still alive. I found another desert temple and then found a desert village, which had a new mob, the camel, which is from 1.20, but I needed a saddle to ride it. I started doing some more traveling and found a shipwreck, which can contain smithing templates, which is a 1.20 rare item. But unfortunately, the coral blocks submerged the ship, so there was like nothing in, there was nothing in there. After a few thousand blocks of adventuring, I started to head back. Then I eventually located my house in the distance and instantly went to sleep. I started farming some carrots and wheat, then even some sugar canes. So I wanted to make a shrine for my ender dragon egg, so I went back to the stronghold and went back to the end. I collected over a stack of endstone and then found some XP that was left behind from the fight. I then came back through and went to bed, but woke up to build the end shrine. After making this weird kind of structure, I grabbed my egg and placed it on top. I then placed a sign on it, because why, why wouldn't you? For day 99, I started chopping some jungle trees and grabbed some jungle leaves. Then I started building a beautiful tree called a palm tree. What a coincidence. <laughs> After surviving the 99th night, I woke up and added some coconuts to the tree. I had to do them out of ancient debris to show how rich I am. Then, the rest of day 100, I decided to log onto the hive for one more time. I decided to play some Hive Skywars kits. Why is there so many people here? How did they clutch? Oh. Sorry, Magic Uniform 468. I then went to fight the final guy and has an intense 1v1. The person life booked, which basically is a health potion, but the enemy ender pulled away. So I pulled too. Then I killed the guy to win the game. But the real winner is you for joining my Discord server before 10,000 subscribers. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. It helps me out a ton and is a great way of getting your feedback.